I, I would like to welcome y'all to the scumbag era. Um, that basically is just me saying that I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna do what I want to do. Um, play the games I want to play, which is what I've been doing this entire time. But I've always tried to make things enjoyable to an audience that doesn't exist. And I'm kind of done doing that. I like I like making these videos. I like editing these videos. I'm just gonna do this for me. So effectively, I'm not like worried about what YouTube considers like advertiser friendly because I'm not I'm not getting ads anyway, and I'll probably never be able to. So here's the deal: if you like what I do, leave a comment, subscribe, maybe share it with somebody else that you might think is good. If you don't like it, fuck it. Go ahead, and tell me that you don't like what I'm doing. Yes, I'm not supposed to swear in the first minute, but I don't care. No ads, and that's kind of the plus side to this channel. I can I'm effectively wild wild westing it. I can do it do whatever I want. I hope you enjoy the show. Peace out. I don't disagree. <laughs> it's like I I acknowledge it. What the hell is that? I just believe there's a time and a place for walking about. That's all. The Waddle Dee's pitched in and gave you a gift. 300 star coins. The amount of stuff I have done for the villages in my uh, Animal Crossing town, not once. And I do mean, not once have they ever done anything like that for me. Oh shit, Mark, uh, Mark's back. Mark, say hi. Hi. Ugh. All right, so here's the dealio McGrelio. Mag Mag I've beaten, the, I, have, I have technically beaten the game. I technically beaten the game. Uh, I didn't know that, but I I figured you gathered it. Given yeah. the message you gave, yeah. So when you went like watch the fucking series, somebody's watching this shit, and like to that person, like leave a comment, man. Like like let me know who you are. I like and if you let me know in enough like within enough time, I will give you a straight up shout out. Like in like the uh the the last the last videos because like I I. Like, I'm playing paper, the Thousand Year Door and nobody's watching it. And I'm playing this and this shit's getting views. It is, it's not like I'm getting like a hundred some odd views, but like, it's insane to me. So I can't explain any of this because you weren't here to, uh, to see the final boss fight. But this is basically, each of these is like an amalgamation of like each world. So each world is like its own little aisle. So this is like, I really can't explain mm -hmm. it. I really can't explain it. Uh, I mean, it, it makes sense. Like it's on par with other Kirby games. Okay, which, which I have not played. So, um, like Kirby fights Cosmic War at the end of Kirby. Yeah. Okay. So, in what what I'm doing here is there are 300 collectibles that I have to uh get my hands on. That sounds awful. But each like so like the first the first one of these had shit like there there's one. And like that's the game. Like that is what this game is. Like that is like what the uh just collectibles at this point? No, it's not collectibles like it's part of a, of one of the boss's souls. Uh, is this dude, oh. this dude named like, I forgot it was Leon something. He's basically a big tiger. And I had to fight him because we found out like why, why the, uh, what you call it? The, um, when we found out why the rift got open and everything. Yeah, so they told us what was going on. And so each of these stages, yeah, is like, is like, there's like what five, usually five places, like five stages per uh, per world, and this is just like a, like a fucking, yeah, like you get what I'm saying. I do indeed. And I found out that like the game, the game has decides like toward the end, like after you've done. After you've collected all of the we all of the uh, the weapons, the game is like, okay, well, if you would like, you can just make the the weapons stronger. 
and by that they simply mean you can collect the um those like those rare gems the little crystalline uh, heart like star pieces you can collect those and take them to take them to the guy and what will happen is he'll be like all right uh did i fucking leave about to please don't like he'll just make the uh whatever weapon you choose stronger choose to be stronger stronger like he'll just add like a plus one to its um to its damage output that's it so I cannot stress to you enough. The dragon's fire is hell on earth. Because they gave me the opportunity to make the best weapon even better. So I did. And so like the last boss in the game, uh, DDD, it was Forgo DDD. Oh, okay. Like it is basically like the best way I can describe it, it was like Ganon DDD. And so it was like DDD mm -hmm. with this uh, like, like pig mask on. And like he had like a double health bar. It was like you almost beat him and then he like transforms into like, it's, a, it's very Ganon-esque. And so these stages, I have decided to just make them, I'll just do them, you know. Very interesting. There's still needle. Oh, man. The Frosty is usually my like least favorite weapon. But it seems like I need it now. So I don't really, yeah, like, so, uh, to anybody who may be, uh, watching this, this is, yeah, this was recorded on the day of the, uh, of Trump's attempted, of, I can't call it an assassination. You've got to be a good person to, like, you've got to be somebody of value to be, a, to, like, for an attempted assassination. Like, like, today was the day Donald Trump hired somebody to try to shoot him. I think it was all staged. For yeah, that's, Trump. yeah, that, that was the, uh, yeah, Mark, Mark is, uh, can Mark is convinced that's my stance on that me. Mark is convinced that Donald Trump did not almost get shot. Mark is convinced that Donald Trump hired somebody to shoot him to make it seem like he almost got shot. And I don't think, and I think that like, it is probably one of the most pointless things ever, simply because no one cares. Like the people who care are- If anything, everyone hopes he would die. Like the people who care are the people who care, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Like the people- They already who, cared before this happened. Yeah. Like they thought he was God's uh, gift to Republicans anyway. So like, it didn't matter. What happened to them? Like, it, it really didn't. So now, here's the deal. Normally, the little dude will tell us, like, hey, God damn. He'll tell us, like, hey, we've got you've gotten all Another the, political uh, thing, by the way. I was talking. Uh, the dude I dude. really love that Trump tried to say uh, that he didn't know anything about Project 2025. That was my favorite. Oh, yeah, me and Breeze, have been, me and your brother have been, like, really going in and like going on and on about that because apparently oh fuck. The, the the little guy will tell you like when you're when you've collected all of the uh all the, the yeah all the like the, the pieces Um, he did not say that before I, I exited the last area, so I don't know if I missed one or what the case may be. I think I'm going to fall. Like, I don't know if I missed one or not, but like before you exit an area, he usually tells you like, Hey, you think you got them all. 
Which I think is a good thing. What is your least favorite power in this game? Uh, uh, it's not the ice. It's the ice, actually. Like, not the... Like, the, the ice power is probably my least favorite. But it could be... I don't know. But I remember, like, there was one I had to use uh, not too long ago, and I really fucking, like... I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> like, I, I don't like this at all. So most of these are in places where there was a, uh, a collectible in the beginning of the game, like early on. Mm -hmm. So like uh, that's why I'm able to like know where most of these are. That makes sense. That was fucking useful. useful. I was like, I would, what I would like to point out, like, like he did not tell me, he has not told me like in this. Like in this area that like well, I think you got them all, we can move on to the next area. Now he might say it now. Mm. Yeah, there we go. So that definitely means I'll be probably doing this stage again. Yes. Yeah. But I think it's like, again, like it's possible because like when Mark's here, like I'm trying to hold conversation and it like takes my, uh, it, it, it takes off, it takes my concentration. Is it time? It is time. Why would I go that route? Like, why would I have done that? Like, this was clearly the... Was there anything to get out there? Yeah, like, the thing on the, uh... Yeah, it was one of the souls. But, mm -hmm. like, they were already there is what I'm getting at. Is like... It, it didn't seem to fucking matter as much. <laughs> okay, so I was under the impression that this would hurt me. It didn't. I think it's just one. I don't know. Ah, I'm hurting. Oh, hurt. Well then, I have failed. I have failed my god and my country. I have failed my god and my country. The, the, the power if I wanted. And it's mostly because I didn't... Um, Yeah, there's nothing out there. And like all the collectibles that you already picked up, they don't they don't make you get them again. That's really nice. Otherwise I won't kill myself. God, these fucking Gordos. 
but... I really don't understand what the point of any of this is. First off, like, Kirby does not platform. Let's get that straight. And especially, like, wearing these, uh... Wearing the ice thing. Why are you... Why? Why? Why are you exist? Why are you a part of the world I have to live in? I'm making this way more difficult than I have to. Gordo's, on the other hand, cannot be defeated. Why not? No. It's not in their code? You know, that's fair. Well, but they can't be defeated. The game said no. Therefore, that's effectively what it is, yeah. That's all I can really give you. Every time I hear something, I, this is completely pointless, and you've already made this this statement before about power, uh, power levels and everything in Dragon Ball Super, but everything in Dragon Ball Super literally only serves to make things more confusing. In spe specifically in Super? In, in my opinion, yeah. Like, I feel like power levels, like, they already really didn't matter, numerically speaking. But now, there's so many different, like, ways to gain power that I don't... There's no way to quantify who is stronger anymore. Which, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Well, like I said, I've been uh, watching uh, Dragon Ball... Uh... Dragon Ball, um, Kai. And yeah, I will say, without question, like, the majority of, the majority of the stuff that they have in those games, in that show, like, it, it doesn't make a lick of sense. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was stupid of me. Oh my gosh, the idea of having to play the stage again is, is, is upsetting. Please let me go. Thank you. But the only reason I say that is because, um, I mean, I guess the idea is all of these forms are just as powerful, just in different ways. Like the, the fact that ego and ultra instinct and beast mode, like they're all mm -hmm. different paths that lead to the same thing, I guess, is the way to look at it. 
So how many do I have? I have 40. Like, I think she only... I have 40. I need 51. If I'm not mistaken, I think she only has 10, maybe. So I, I definitely missed... She might have five. New attacks, I see. Like, you are alive explicitly because I did not bring the right weapon because I was not gifted the correct gear. No, that's not good at all. Oh, there we go. Metal Knights. Like, cause, like to get the to get what I would prefer to have, I had to fucking like leave. You don't want to be there. It's the best. Honey, it's me. Yeah, the, the the fact that like they they labeled it a bloodbath. Who is they? Like he, uh, daily mail. What the fuck is daily mail anyway? Feed your daily injections with the biggest news stories, news, politics, showbiz, and everything else. Twenty-two million followers. Because I, I don't even, I'm not even saying this from like a, he should be able to stay in trial and like be judged like in a court of his peers. I mean this like in a realistic sense. If, if he tried to kill Trump, mm. would we not assume that maybe like he, other people are going to do it? Maybe they're like, there's like a coordinated a plan about all this. Wouldn't you want to like take this person in alive to like question get more, yeah, get why more he did it? Like why? Like why? Did, why now? Like all of a sudden. The sad thing is, like, if the question was why, like, there is plenty of reasons as to why. Like, there's plenty of reasons. Witnesses say the man with a rifle bear crawled onto a roof near the Trump rally. I, I'm about to say something that's gonna sound the real fuck fucked. Up. Yeah, we didn't get them all. Forty-two. Forty-five. There's six I missed. Well, Mark, we're going back in. Yeah, that's all right. 
Buzzsaw cutter. What's the buzz, cuz? This cutter ev uh, evolution has increased power and flying distance. It'll also ricochet off walls, so aim carefully to send it extra far. Clink, clink, buzz. What was the fucked up thing you were just saying? Huh? You were, you were saying this is going to sound fucked up, and then you got distracted. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the fucked up part about that was, like, if you think about it, like, y'all was like, I can't believe somebody would do this to Trump. Y'all did it to Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> like, I can't, for the life of me, imagine why you would dare be surprised. Like, this dude clearly comes off as somebody who might be a danger to us as, like, the individuals, as the, the, as the people who live in America. Like, he brings the worst out of people. Because, again, like, the idea that, like, Trump's supporters are cowards. Because I don't, I refuse to believe that these people, hold on, where's the, where's the, I refuse to believe that these people were inspired to be racist, awful people because he exists. I refuse to believe that. No, because like, it literally is that like they were always like this and they finally had this man like, because before everyone who was in office or like was gonna be in office was like, yeah. you have to be this way. Like you can't be this way anymore. But Trump comes in and he's like, he's like no, I can tell totally, I got it. Yeah, I can tell This totally, guy gets it. I can be this way again. Yeah, and like, and so like, so when I say that they're cowards, I mean, like, that's what I mean. Like, they're, they're cowards. Because all that shit that we had to deal with from these people when Trump was president is the, the four years we had, we've had Biden. No, nah, the motherfuckers got real quiet. They've been on the Internet doing their saying their little fucked up shit on the Internet. But the motherfuckers ain't been like gully enough to to like do this shit like so like loud and proud. And like, that's good. Like it is like. You're not supposed to do this shit. You're not supposed to feel like, like it's not good. I can't believe I fucking missed six of these, and it's your fault because like the first two stages, I got everything on one go. One go. I blame you. Oh wow! I'll accept that. It literally tells you how many you have missing in that particular. Aha. I don't know, man. I can't stress to you enough. Like, I ain't one of them motherfuckers that's like, you know, like, like black power motherfuckers. No, like, I got white friends. Like, I'm attracted to white women. There we go. That's the last one. Last one for here. I'd like to get the hell out of here. Like, no, I got white friends. I'm hanging out with one of them right now. He ain't reliable, but, you know, he's mine. Yeah. Uh, I am attracted to white women. Like, like, shit. Like, I, and I really can't stress enough, like, some of the best doctors I've had have been white. Like, some of the best teachers I've ever had have been white. And I realize that the reason for that is because the black people haven't been getting, haven't, you know, been given opportunities. But, it, shut, shit, it is what it is. Like, I can't see the difference, if that makes any sense. I don't, I don't feel the need to like, oh, excuse me, sir. there's only one piece in this area. So like, I'm not trying so to- really the Supreme Court is uh, trying to remove OSHA in general. <laughs> That's another thing. Why? The Supreme Court needs to just be dismantled Chill. at it this point. Like they are, they're doing the most. Oh, every new political thing I hear about day by day makes me lose a little more faith in the country I am currently forced to occupy myself in. Not being forced to stay here. I'm well, not forced, but like... The one I'd like to fucking stay in, I'll give you that. Like, I don't want to live in another country. I like America. Like, there's a reason, like, it's called, like, oh, it's this thing is like the land of the free. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say that, like, it's not got its flaws. It's got its flaws. I know that it does. But, like, at the end of the day, like, there are some, there are some things that happen in other countries that I'd like to not have to ever deal with. But we can't, 
Like, you can't sit there and say, like, having AIDS isn't that bad because at least you don't have cancer. They're both terrible on their own. Like, I think that's, like, that's, like, the fact of life that we really need to, like, come to come terms with. Because I feel like that's how people look at it. It's like, well, what about, like, these other countries that have really bad... Like, two games today where that little, like, uh... Where is it? There it is. Figured it was up there. Seven for what three? Get three left. But no, like we, like it is what it is. Like you could say that yes, we are biased as far as like Trump's fucking, like him as a whole, as, as a person. We are biased because we are, but neither of us are the kind of people that are on his uh, radar. The, the main issue that I usually come to with this is like, it's not necessarily that we say these people shouldn't exist. Like, even if we like are okay with them having no. the beliefs they have, the issue is that their beliefs want us to not exist. Wait a minute. Did that not? Okay. Okay, so you remember how I said like these, like when, if you die, like, like you don't have to recollect these? Uh -huh. I lied. Oh, that's lovely. There we go. So that was the right way to do that. All right, cool. So I would have got, well, I wouldn't have, but whatever. So I know where the last one is here. It's right here. But yeah, I acknowledge that we are indeed biased because that man and his, his, his shit does not, it, it, I would say it doesn't affect us, but it, he doesn't think about people like us. So like we're we're the poor, we're 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 the nobodies that like when Trump is when he was in office and he was making decisions, none of them were relevant. like he wasn't thinking about the poor guy. He wasn't thinking about Mr. Nobody, Mr. I ain't got no money. Like he really, really wasn't. And I can't help but think like, you know. There are more poor people in America, in the world as a whole, there are way more poor people than there are rich people. And I would assume that it would be in, you know, in his fucking favor to, uh... Peace to those people? Yeah. Want to hear something that disgusted me the other day? Vomit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but uh, no, this billionaire, this billionaire, mm -hmm. there was like a uh, an error with his finances, and for a little bit, he lost 99% of his income, like all the money he had. Uh -huh. Do you want to guess how much money himself. he had left? Do you want to guess how much money he had left? 99% of a billion is still a whole fucking lot of money. Well, I haven't said what, how much he has, he's just a billionaire. Yeah, it doesn't matter. 99% of a billion is still a lot of goddamn money. Mm -hmm. But the answer was a billion. He still have a billion dollars after losing 99% of his income. Yeah. There is no ethical world where people are starving and homeless and someone has that much money. No. There is no such no. thing as an ethical billionaire. I 
I, I, it was one of the things that Tupac like said uh, in this interview that I uh, I watched uh, watched him do. Uh, he talked about the idea of like you know like millionaires having mansions with like all those rooms in them and he was like but there are people on the street like there are literally people who live on the street like there are people who have nothing he's like you don't need a house with that many rooms like you just don't and he's not wrong man like he's not I live in a house like it's because uh, even if you wanted a big home, like there's there's modest like large homes. You don't need like no. sixty thousand acres of land. Like it's just it's not it's not ethical. There's no real way you can even like justify it. Fifty Cent was on, I think Jimmy Kimmel, and uh, he said that that was so much easier than the first time. Uh, he talked about how. He's like, you ever like, like, because apparently he bought Mike Tyson's old mansion, which is a sentence in and of itself, like a fucking like, wow, let's say that. Okay. And he said the house, he said he feel like he got got because the house is massive. And he said, like, there were so many rooms in the house. Like, he's like, he's like, if you ever like, like, the, I, I, I can't think of all the words, the exact wording. I swear I should have two. I should have three because I had one already. Um, but he said like big red to torque, uh, tortilling, an aggressive an aggressive boss of all tortilling dwells within the forbidden zone of Redgar. When this hothead find, finds a, a suitably sweltering spot, it stays put. It's reckless. It's reckless with its attack, shooting chunks of concrete out of its mouth to hit faraway enemies. But he was like, yeah, like, basically, he was like, the house is so big. If something is happening in one of the other rooms, he just doesn't care. Like, he, like, can look down his hallway and be like, I, I, I just don't care. Like, I don't know what, what's going on down there. Like, if he heard a noise, it wouldn't mean anything to him. Because he's just not going to check it out. Because that's how big the fucking house is. And that's ridiculous. I totally understand the idea of being like, I'm not going to horn. Huh? Okay. I oh I know this. I know what that is. I understand the idea of being like, nah, this house is like, you know, I, I'm I'm rich. I can't live amongst the people because like I'll never get any peace. I guess I totally understand that, but like you don't have to have like a house the size of a football stadium all right y'all with that we're gonna get the hell up out of here i don't know how long this uh this is almost 45 minutes long but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna cut most of this down uh until next time get out